Today is Saturday, March 4th, I believe is the date. It's in the mid 60s. So I'm gonna go through hive four just to see how they're doing. Oh my gosh. Just looking on the ground, I see a full size drone outside of the. That's crazy. So we got drones that are actually mature enough to come out of the hive. Go ahead and let them know that I'm coming in. This whole top piece is just for insulation here, so it's set it aside entirely. And I'll aim to put them over here. Wow. I got a lot of burko already. Oh yeah, I'm seeing drones in here. Not sure if you can see that or not. This looks like it just hatched out. So this is drone comb. Oh, I see cap drone at the very top. Wow. All right, so we need to make sure that they have enough reserves for that and make sure they didn't have any queen cells. They're starting. They've got drones already. A little further ahead than I thought. So I'm going to just take the top box off, set it aside, keep it covered up, and then work the bottom box and then put the top box back on and work the top box. I know that if this queen is in here, she'd be able to run back down when I'm looking at the top one, but uh, it seems to disturb them a little less. And if you keep smoking them down, then when you inspect the lower box, there's just tons of bees in there, so it makes it kind of hard to do. But let's see if I can get this opened up. That is extremely stuck, so you can take a look down in here, see if I'm pulling up frames. It looks like I am, so this frame is coming up. Sometimes it's nice to have two hive tools. Try to fix that. I think that was the one that was tying it up. Let's give it another shot. All right, I'm going to change my plans here a little bit. I'm going to uh, just go ahead and work the top box and I'll just break each one a frame at a time. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier on them. And then when I pull the top box off, I'll have already broken each one individually instead of ripping the whole thing off. First time this cover's been off, and I know I've got bridge chrome. I can see it right there on the top. Okay, broken free. Oops, a small hot beetle. Got one. Oops, there's another one here. That one. That another one. See, these bees will just attack them. Just ball onto them. I love it. Very successful. Corralling them and tormenting them. Keeping them out of their hive, keeping their hive safe. Just looking at some of these cells. I don't see any eggs in any of them. Which is good. You can tell that there's honey in there that I broke open. They're all trying to drink it down. 
Go ahead and get my frame rest ready. And I'm going to put them on the shady side. Just so that I'm not putting them out there too much. It's only in the 60 today, 60s today, but that sun can be really intense. Um, something else I was doing at one point, but haven't done it much lately, but maybe we can try it today. Sometimes I'll just try to cover up the ones I'm not working on. Just try to keep them in the dark so that uh, they can remain calm, keep doing their activities. Once you get to a certain point, though, this thing sort of just tips and falls off, so... Definitely a warm enough day to get the uh, propolis soft. You trust yourself, you can come up with that J hook, but there's always a chance you'll drop it too, so just be very careful. And I smell the warm pheromone already. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I've got my drones walking around already. And this is all nectar on the outside. So they're bringing something in already. Um, and a lot of drones. See capped honey. See nectar, pollen. So many drones in here already. Didn't expect that. But if, just because they're in here doesn't mean that they're mature yet. We did see that one outside the hive. It's just so much propolis on everything. Impressive. So, seeing that many drones and doing all these OA treatments, thinking it's not, there's not a lot of brood in there. Probably not making much headway on stuff this late in the year. Not this late in winter, this early in the year. There's probably so much stuff that's capped. So, center that's pretty empty still. Get kept honey at the top. Some bird comb here. Oops. Looks like there's probably some brood there that I broke open. Didn't look quick enough to see if there's any mites in it. You hear the, the drones when they fall off, you can hear them thunk. Oh, there's a small high beetle. A lot of drones in there. Nectar, pollen, bee bread. The center that's mostly open though. I think if she's made it out this far that she would be laying it up, but uh, I don't see anything like that. Don't like seeing this high beetle in there, but I'm gonna leave it. Oop. When you set that down, you just gotta be careful. You can hear them in there. This is probably not very helpful to have this on here. Wow. Yeah, I didn't expect this. Yeah. All the cells that are open, there's young larvae in. Not sure if something you can see or not. So this whole thing is pretty much laid up with drone brood.
Yeah. And all those strong brood and all those small cells, or the open cells, everything else is capped. Crazy. Crazy they have this much already. So this is not a man like box. I'm not sure if it's disrupting. Oh, I see what the problem is. That is part of the, <laughs> the broodminder sensor from below. So it's not good to see. Um, this is all completely empty. It becomes very thin here. It must just be so thin because of the, uh, the drone brood is drawn out so much. And then you can see the arc. Just looking for eggs in some of these. I see eggs on the outside here. Nothing in the middle yet. Oh, I do see eggs in the middle as well. So, start keeping an eye out for the queen. Not seeing a lot of stores here. That's something you've got to watch out for. Let's see what kind of damage I just did to this sensor. Yeah, looks like I may have just been the sticker on top. Almost intact. Yeah, see that's a purple eyed drone right there. And they're just gonna re ingest that and use that protein for whatever they see fit inside the hive for the next next round of brood. A lot of bees here. This is impressive. So again, we're at the beginning of March. March is the time things could swarm, but it doesn't look like there's enough stores yet for that to happen. I see some new bees right there, Watched out. So I'm seeing a ring along the top edge of eggs and really young larvae. And then I'm seeing drones, cat brood, some drone brood at the bottom, nectar, pollen. Oh wow, okay. So a lot of this is cat brood, nectar, pollen. There is fresh nectar in these top corners unless they're reconstituting something from somewhere else in the hive. Wow. I'm usually pretty slow at this, but my fingers are so sticky. There's a purple lug drone right there. See if there's a, any mites on it. Hopefully you can see that. No, I don't see any mites on that one. I'll have to pick these up when I'm done. Oh, I see a queen cup. And then just try, oh wow. So there is a flow right now. There's actually nectar falling out of the comb. 
See them here, they're eating it whatever they can out of that one. Let's see if I can get a photo without making my phone covered in propolis. So yeah, when I do hive inspections, they are usually really slow. The next one should go a little easier with all this fur coming out of the way, but I still like to take my time. very impressed by the people that have a lot of hives and can go through them quickly and know what they're seeing and understand it just by looking at a couple frames but nowhere near that yet I really do enjoy the process of going through them too Try to raise that up so you guys can see what I'm doing Every once in a while, I'll put my finger on a bee. But if you can feel it buzzing around, then you can move your finger pretty quickly. So you don't squash it. Some of these uh, cells that are open do have eggs in them. Wow, this is really stuck. And something about these plastic frames too, the uh, bees really like to stick them to the frames below or above. I don't know if it's, they violate the bee space or if it's just because the texture is different. But... Wow. And I've got eggs all the way to the outside edge. Over here. Got brood. There's some nectar in the corner. I'm not sure if you can see that. The eggs in there or not. I'll see if I can get a picture with my cell phone. It's hard to get frames like these out of your hive. She always seems to like to lay in them. I just don't like all the spots where the hive beetles can hide. Yeah. There's a ring just outside of the cat brood of different age larvae. See how some of the cells are on capped in that cap larvae, they're a straight line that could be a wax moth larvae, it could be a small high beetle larvae that was tunneling through there. Let's see if I can grab a photo of this. Another queen cup, two queen cups. So if you ever find a queen cup that has something in it, don't destroy it. Wait until you can find the queen or signs of the queen before you choose to knock it down because she may have already left. And if you blow on them, you can get them out of the way. And those are just cups, nothing more, nothing in them. They are making cups though. There's white wax on it, so. Yeah, that's empty.
I inspected today. There's eggs all through the middle of that. Not sure if we can see that or not. Still some fresh capped honey on the top, or capped honey, not fresh, it's probably from last year. And there's eggs all above that cat brood. Some larvae at different ages. There's pollen, bee bread. Now this girl's got some really green pollen on her. Nectar, honey. Pretty heavy, so seems like the honey still have a lot of stores in here, at least enough. Does not look like the queen's been out here laying, so it's probably three quarters of a sheet of honey. And then nectar and pollen on this side. And maybe off to the races already. Interesting. That's how these boxes look really dark. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I'm sure if that's moldy or what. Glove stuck. You rarely get my glove stuck like that. Philip Morris RTX honeybees. Mentioned that, but uh, the main lake boxes seem to have a little more space along there. These uh, the other ones are a little bit tighter. Uh, just taking a break. Um, just so you know, water is really important, but you can drink right through your veil. A lot of companies that make the zip off front, but you can just put it right up to your veil and take a zip right through it. it kind of feels weird, but. The water goes right through, so. Changing out gloves, see that? There's so much propolis on there, my phone's covered in it now. All right. I've got this on. I'm just going to leave it on. Hopefully I can pry this box off and set it off and check the bottom. So far I've only got like maybe maybe a frame. Full frame of honey. Maybe a frame and a half for being optimistic. Lots of brood. Lots of mouths to feed though. So. Alright. Set that down. I'm going to try to look as quick as we can. See if there's any mites in here. Wow, they've got lots of drone brood already. And I gotta get that off. So that's 
That's why our uh, boxes wouldn't come apart. That's so easy. Turn over again. It's crazy. It's So many bees in here, they just come right back up. So that was the whole purpose of trying to do the bottom one first, because now I've driven all the bees to the bottom box. side pull straight up and out see some capped honey a little bit of nectar out here see honey nectar pollen bee bread Yeah, this nectar. Nectar is actually dripping out. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Please. Never tried single deep management. I uh, like the idea of two because you kind of have a little bit more. Uh, let's see, a little buffer. If you make a mistake and. Because there's always extra feed on there, there's always a little bit extra space to get started, but it does it does take a little bit more to inspect the double deep. Since people don't inspect the, the bottom parts, you should inspect all of it. If you can inspect, you might as well inspect all of it. Pollen, nectar. There's so many drones. So many drones. A lot of those are probably hatching up from what's between the frames and that green drone frame. Drone cone frame. Wow. So this would be something you would not rotate the boxes on because not too much honey at the, the top that she can't lay and there's brew in the bottom as well so this is just like the bottom half of a circle pretty interesting grow in there it's got like a blue reflection to it a lot of brew there Brood all the way out to the edge. There's pollen in the middle. Not much else going on there. It's just pollen and cat brood. I don't see many eggs or anything. All the brood capping looks healthy. You don't want to see anything that's sunken or kind of slimy or greasy looking. That could be American foul brood, European foul brood. Apparently you'll smell them before you 
get into the hive, but... I love the smell of the hive, though. See the cat brood and then the white larvae? Those are close to being capped. Really young larvae all the way to the outside edge. Younger larvae, and then they progress to the cat brood. There's cat brood. Some young larvae along the outside perimeter. So you usually want to see that darker caps on that. You think they're a little bit older, but they're not producing a lot of fresh comb right now. They could just be repurposing that wax. There's a drone larvae that rolled off there. See open larvae. Really young larvae at the edge. Oh, there's some eggs. There's eggs right over here on the edge. And they worked their way into older larvae, all the way to the cat brood. This is a better comb frame. After about a year, it just kind of looks like naturally John foundation. Especially after they have a round of brood in it. Those bees that are shaking right there have like orange and pink on them. Orange on their foreheads and then their pollen baskets are like a reddish orange. Cat brood pollen, young larvae, some nectar in the bottom there, some drone brood at the top there. Cat brood, some pollen, nectar. You're calling because it's near the entrance. Pollen and bee bread. Some nectar too. So many drones. There's not a lot of resources though. And these are mature drones. Let's sort of go into any hive that'll have them. Pollen, bee bread. If you look at the pollen, it's kind of shiny. I'm putting nectar in. Honey in there to sort of preserve that for longer, make the nutrients easier for the, the larvae to digest. It's another bee with kind of an orange spot on her back. And that's all. This is in that drone brood. See there's a mite right there. Still alive too.